So I think we're live on Facebook. I think we're pretty much ready to rock and roll here. I got a couple slides I'm going to share um, just to get things kickstarted. And then most of this is really just going to be a straight up demonstration. So let me pull these up and we will get running, okay? So here's what we're doing today. We thought we'd do something a little bit different, something a little bit more interactive, more fun than normal. And what you're gonna be doing is, is watching us actually create a video live, okay? So um, let's cross our fingers that you know, no, no technical difficulties happen. We've, we've prepared for this in such a way that hopefully we can avoid um, any potential issues. But here's what we're showing you, right? We're gonna be showing you something that we call the video recipe. Um, this is something that within business video school, like we've basically developed from scratch. I don't really know that um, there are scripts out there, but this is a lot more than a script. And so what we did is we said to ourselves, okay, we work with real estate agents, 95% or so of our students are real estate agents. Um, what can we do to make it as physically easy as possible? How can we eliminate as many of the barriers as possible when it comes to making a real estate marketing video, right? Because this is something that, you know, I'm sure you're all hearing, you should be making videos all the time. It's absolutely true. Um, so how do we make it as easy as possible to make, you know, like at least one video a week, right? So we said, okay, what parts can we do versus what parts does the agent, does our student need to be able to do themselves? And the only thing that we found that you really need to be able to do yourself is to be on camera, right? So that that's the one thing that we know is true is that if you're going to be making videos, you need to be on camera because it's all about the relationship that you're building with your audience, okay? So that was the first thing we said, we can't just make a video with, with me or Michael on camera because you need to be in the video. But how much of the rest of the process can we take care of for you, right? So number one, we said, hey, a lot of times it's much easier to use a script and follow that script if you're actually able to watch an example of someone else doing word for word the same script, right? Because you can see their facial expressions, hear their tone of voice, you can see what words they chose to emphasize. And so we said, number one, in addition to a script, because we knew that was gonna be a part of this, let's make an example video, all right? And let's, let's try to shoot it the same way our students would shoot it, keep it as simple as possible and create something that our students can essentially copy, right? So we had a script and we have the sample video. Then we took it a step further and we said, well, what else? What else is, is something that holds somebody back here? And we said, well, sometimes the, the editing or the instructions on how to actually create the video can be sort of intimidating, right? You gotta figure things out on your own. You get on YouTube, you start searching around, how does this stuff work? So we said, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna sort of choose certain apps and certain editing softwares, and we're gonna provide step-by-step -step instructions uh, based on those apps, right? So that's another thing we added. And then finally we said, well, once the video is made, what's another thing that holds people back from sharing it? And to be honest, having worked with hundreds of agents over the past four or five years, we realized that sometimes knowing what to say when you post the video is still one of the blocks, right? It's one of the things that holds you back. So we wrote that for our students too, okay? So what happens is every single week inside a business video school, our students get an email. In that email, there's an example video. So they scroll down a little bit, they watch the video. It's the first step, right? As you watch our version and you say, do I wanna make this video or not? From there, they click a yes button or a no button. If they click no, it takes them to a survey where they can tell us why and they can give us their feedback on our video idea. If they click yes, it takes them to a folder, folder full of all the information and assets that they need to make the video. And that's what you're gonna get today, okay? So thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Once I hand the reins over to Michael and let him do his thing, I'm gonna post the entire PDF document um, as well as a link, there's, there's a link inside of that PDF to a folder. And so you're gonna get the script, you're gonna get the social media posts that you can copy and paste when you share the video. You're gonna get some of the assets that you see in the video. So for instance, you're gonna see a couple drone shots. Those are available in that folder. And then all of the instructions to make this video yourself, all right? Now, if you decide to join the school, you're gonna also have access to all of our trainings and, and our trainings cover um, all of the other steps that you would do throughout this process, like how to use the apps themselves, um, but you're gonna get everything else, right? You're gonna get all the steps that you need to actually make one of these videos, everything you see here on the screen right now. So before I hand over the reins to Michael, I did wanna mention this. I knew we, I was looking at our, our list of uh, registrants today and I was excited to see that we do have some new folks here. So if this is your first time joining us for a business video school webinar, 
Thank you so much for doing so. Um, I want to give you some free value right off the bat before you see anything else. And that is we have a list of free video lessons. Okay. So basically this is a series of videos. We start out by sending you 14 different videos, one at a time. They're about one to three minutes long. So these are super short, super digestible videos, right? You can watch them once a day, or you can save a few up and watch them at the end of the week, whatever you want to do. But if you're getting started with video, if you're still learning to, to get more confident on camera, you're learning to create content. I want you to text right now. So the phone number will be 44222. And then the actual text message, as you can see here on the screen, is just learn video without a space. So L-E-A-R-N-V-I-D-E-O, capitalization doesn't matter. You send that as a text message to 44222. It's going to respond. It's going to ask you for your email address, which you can see here on the screen. You respond with your email address, and then you're registered. And you're going to get a whole bunch of of free video lessons. So I wanted to mention that first, because if you're gonna get our free video recipe today as well, that's another thing we're giving you, um, you're gonna probably want some tips on how to make a decent video, right? So how do you control your lighting, your sound? Um, how do you do, you know, how do you feel more comfortable and confident on camera, all that kind of stuff. We have free video lessons on all of those topics. So again, send a text message before we get started here to 44222 with learn video as the body of the message, and then you can get registered for that list, okay? So I just wanted to start there um, so we could do that. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna pass things over to Michael. I'm going to sort of man the chat, so to speak, right? So I'm gonna keep an eye on all the questions that are coming in. Please, if you do have any questions, put them in the chat or in the Q&A, either one's fine, I'll check both. And I will give those to Michael as he has some time available, right? So I'm not gonna interrupt him halfway through recording a video. So give me a few minutes, but uh, when he has a little break here and there, I'll feed those questions over to him. And then otherwise, we're just sort of watching him do his thing, okay? So uh, Michael, are you, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. So just to make sure um, if there are questions that come up and I tend to, and I move on, um, interject, make sure that you catch me before we move on to the next step. Cause I want to make sure that we answer any questions kind of as we move through this process. So um, yeah, cool. feel free to ask questions. All right. So the beginning here, we're going to talk about a couple of apps. Uh, the two main apps uh, that we're going to be dealing with are uh, a teleprompter app called Big View and then an editing app um, called Wondershare Filmora 9. Now, there, you, these are both paid apps. You can use the free versions of them, but a lot of the times um, with the free versions of these apps, they put watermarks on them or you can only export them in like half HD or something and it ends up being not like a good experience. So our recommendation is if you are really serious about creating video for your business, um, you're going to have to invest just a slight bit of money into some of these apps to make sure um, that you can really produce something that looks halfway decent, that doesn't have another company's watermark on it. So again, Big View and um, Wondershare for Mora 9 are the two apps that we'll be using today. So I'm going to jump in and we're going to start sharing um, my screen here. And we're going to start with my phone screen because that's where um, this is going to begin. We're going to begin on the... Michael, while you're while you're doing that, I just Big want everybody to know yeah. I just shared the link in the chat where you can access the PDF instructions on all this and all the assets that you need to make this video. So make sure at some point you click on that link and go over and, and get all that downloaded to your computer. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're in the Big View app. This is a teleprompter app, right? This is super simple. It basically takes a script that you put that you input into it and you. Um, uh, you can actually read the words from the script as it records the front facing camera on your phone. So um, in the beginning here, we're going to start, we're going to push the plus icon and we're going to um, use the uh, teleprompter version of this. We're going to name our script. And then at this point, we would copy the script over into this, um, into this uh, new project here. Now I've already gone and done this. I've already started this project here. So I'll show you this one that I've started here, but it's really simple. All you go in um, is uh, you start this uh, new script and then you copy the script into a, a new project. And now you've got the script and it's ready to go. So from here, you're ready to record the video. I mean, that's really as simple as it gets. Like I said, we give you this script. So you're already, you already got this. Um, there may be a couple of times where you'll need to adjust your phone number, obviously, because you know we have different phone numbers, or um, if there's certain things that you offer in your business that you um, would want to highlight in some of these videos, um, we always make sure in these video recipes to highlight those portions of the script that you may want to personalize. So. Um, you would go through, you would make any small uh, minor edits to the script to kind of personalize it to you and your business. You'd input it, you copy it into this um, new project in Big View, and then you'd hit the 
uh, little camera button down here. And that's going to start the recording process, right? So it's not recording yet, but it's ready to go. So obviously you can see me on the screen here. Um, I would put this on my tele on my uh, tripod here, the teleprompter on my tripod, and I'd get it all set up. I would position my um, position myself in the frame and um, make sure that um, I've got everything set to go. Now you've got a couple of options down here. As you can see, um, you can change some of the settings. You can change um, the resolution down here at HD. Um, you can change the, the font size on this. So if you um, are gonna be farther away from the camera, you're gonna wanna make sure you increase the font size or if you need glasses like I do, you may wanna increase the font size. Um, you can also change the speed. Now this is a big aspect of teleprompters, right? You wanna make sure that the speed is going to be comfortable for you to read um, and not, not sound like you're too rushed. Now, we always tell folks when you're, when you're setting the speed for this, make sure that you just set the speed so you can say individual paragraphs in a good amount of time, but not so fast. So what that means is that if you're in between paragraphs and you have to pause to let it catch up, that's okay because we'll edit out those pauses later on and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So um, just make sure that as, as this, the paragraphs roll on that you can say each paragraph in a good amount of time. And after that's done, if you have to wait and let it catch up for a second and then start, that's totally fine. We'll, uh, we'll edit out all of those, ed those mistakes and those pauses and stuff. So, um, and then you can obviously change the camera here, which camera you want. We're going to use the front facing camera, obviously, because that's what we're, uh, we're working on here. So that is, um, that is all the settings basically that you would need to, to work with here. Um, once this is set up, I would just hit the record button and it's going to give me a countdown. It's going to start this and it's gonna start scrolling and I would start reading. We've all seen the Zestimate, right? It's Zillow's estimation of your home's worth. You can look up your home on Zillow and see this number right now, but is it even accurate? Can you trust it, especially in a market as volatile as this? Look, Zillow gets this estimation from an algorithm it's developed that looks at many factors, including the recent sale of homes in your area. And to be honest, it's gotten a lot better over the last several years, mainly as Zillow has amassed more and more data points in homes, on homes in every city. But the reality is, is that Zillow's estimation of your home's worth is only as good as the data that it has. Yes, Zillow knows other, how much other homes sold for in your neighborhood. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. Obviously I'm making some mistakes um, and that's totally fine. That's the way this is built, right? So if, as you make mistakes, um, you can go through, you, you see I hit the stop button there to stop recording. Um, and I can either go through and I can say new take up at the top there, or um, I can uh, I can delete this particular take if I didn't like it, you know? So you have, you have options on what you can do. Um, and then you can actually do some editing within this app if you want. Now we're not gonna talk about that today. We are gonna edit on the computer because I think it's a little easier through Zoom to show you this editing process, but you can do some editing with the paid version of this app. Um, so as it's set, um, I would go through, I would do that. If I messed up, I would go back. I would you know, start over again to make sure that I could at least get in everything that I wanted to say. Um, and if I had a couple of takes, that's no problem because we just dump it all into the editor and we would edit it all together. It's not, it wouldn't take very much extra time. So like I said, I've done this already. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of here. Um, and you can see that I've got um, my take one on here that's already been done. I did this just a couple of minutes before we started um, this webinar here. And as you can see, it's just the same thing. I don't think it's actually gonna, sh there we go. So once I've got that complete, um, what I would do is uh, I go here to the share button. Make sure this catches up here. There we go. Uh, I would go to the share button and I would go to more. And I'm gonna sell, tell, I'm going to tell my phone, I'm on an iPhone here, obviously, I'm going to say save video. And that's going to save the video to my camera roll. So now if I go back over to my camera roll, you'll see I've got this video ready to go right there. It's in my camera roll ready to go. So now what we need to do is obviously take this video that we've created um, that has a lot of mistakes in it, right? Take this video and we got to put it onto our, um, let's see if we, oh, I stopped the share here. Hang on just a second. Are you seeing my uh, my phone screen still, Nick? From your phone, it looks like. Hang on just a second. Let me try it one more time. Sometimes it's just. Yeah, and if you uh, if you want to take a second here, we've we've got some questions coming in. I'm trying to answer as many yeah, as I there can. There we go. Let's start it. 
Absolutely. So, uh, but anyway, I did one thing I wanted to mention. Uh, first of all, this is called Big mm -hmm. View. The app is B I G V U. All right. So if you're looking to get the app, there's a free version. There is a paid version. You might want to consider investing in. But please try out the mm -hmm. free version. Excuse me, free version first because you know you need to make sure that it's worth upgrading. Um, we also had some questions about equipment, so lighting, sound, sure. all that kind of stuff. We're not covering that today, but I did post a link in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and post it again um, since I'm mentioning it, so it'll show up right at the bottom of the chat. But it is a link to our equipment list. All right, so we created a list of all of the different kinds of equipment that we recommend based on beginner and intermediate levels. They're separated on the list. Um, so if you do want that information, uh, go ahead and click the link that's in the chat right now. The last thing I will say, uh, and then I'm going to scan again through the questions here and feed them over to you, um, is that the script that Michael was using here, I, I, I kind of skipped over a step. I was going to show you the PDF where you can find that script. Um, we kind of got past that. We are, we are going to be low on time today, so I don't want to go back. But that's what you're going to access, right? So the P, the the uh, the link that I originally shared, and again, I'll I'll share that multiple times throughout today because I know there's a lot of activity in the chat right now. Um, but all you're going to want to do is click that link to go to the video recipe file. Inside of that file, you'll find a PDF, and at the bottom of the PDF is the script. All you have to do is copy and paste that script over into the Big View app, and you'll you'll be going from there. Okay. Um, so a few questions, Michael, Big View versus Prompt Smart. We were actually talking about these two apps before the webinar. Do you want to mention really quickly the difference between those two? Sure. Uh, so I, I use Prompt Smart a lot. I think it's a great app. Um, I got grandfathered into the original payment, which was like $30 or something for a one-time payment. They have moved on to a regular payment model, um, which I think is about $20 a year or something like that, which again, I think is still worth it. Um, it is... Um, uh, it, the difference between Prompt Smart and Big View is that Prompt Smart actually follows along with you, so you don't have to set the speed, which I think is a really nice feature. Um, and it actually works really well if you're close enough to your um, phone as it's turned on. So if you're far too far away, it's not going to be able to hear your voice. But as you you know, if you're close enough to your phone doing a talking head video, it actually follows along with you and moves at your pace rather than you moving at it, its pace. Um, so I think that's a great um, option. It doesn't have any editing features in the app. It doesn't, um, uh, you know, it's a, it's kind of a basic teleprompter. You can still record yourself as you as you deliver these. Um, but um, you know, we started with Big View because it's got all these other features. You can do green screen editing on Big View. It's kind of a hybrid um, app. But I think Prompt Smart is a great app. And again, it's you know, as long as you can get that file basically to the point that we're at here, um, which is in your camera roll on your phone, however you do that, um, I mean that's that's you know whatever works best for you. And and if Prompt Smart works for you and that's an app that you have and you understand how to use, absolutely 100% do that. Cool, good recommendation. Um, I don't know if you know the answer to this, Michael. Somebody asked about, does it record in more than 30 frames per second in Big View? From everything I've seen, it would just be standard 30 FPS, but have you seen anything about that? Uh, to be honest, I, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't looked at the frame rate options, if it can record in anything higher than um, uh, 30 frames. I think um, that... I'm not sure if it takes its cues from your camera app settings. So if you have adjusted your, your phone's settings to record in 60 frames per second, if it then just records automatically in 60 frames per second in the Big View app, or if it kind of overrides those, I haven't done that test. Um, I record everything in, especially talking head, um, in, in at least 30 frames, if not 24 frames per second, because that's the kind of the standard, what we're used to looking at in terms of film. Um, it looks the most natural with the motion blur. So, um, and you know, that's a whole other conversation, but um, I, I tend to just film in either 24 or 30, um, especially for talking head stuff. Uh, another question, will it work with AirPods? And I'll just answer this one. No video app works with AirPods as of this point. Uh, at least from everything that we've seen. And Tristan did test, test this just a few months ago. So, um, and we, we saw the same thing with Prompt Smart. A lot of these apps are not um, currently able to use any sort of Bluetooth connected audio. So if you do want audio that's coming from a microphone that's not built into the phone, it needs to go through the jack in the phone, right? So um, I have a wireless microphone, a, a DJ, or sorry, a uh, Rode, uh, Rode Go or- I don't know Yeah, Rode Wireless right. Go. Where wireless mm -hmm. go, um, that one plugs into the audio jack. So the wireless signal is actually handled by the device and then it just feeds the audio into the phone. That's the only way to use a lot of these apps. I mean, that's the, pretty much the, the native 
uh, camera app, even on the iPhone, does not work with the Bluetooth headset. So that is a common question. So I figured it was worth just sort of mentioning to everyone. Um, but if you do want audio, you're going to need to go through the audio jack. Um, so let's yeah, go back to the demonstration here. There's, yep. there's, we can get back to more questions here in a few minutes. But So now we've got our video uh, recorded. Yep. What do we do Correct. next? All right, so it's in your camera roll. We need to get it from your camera roll onto your computer, right? Wherever you're gonna edit it. And today we're editing on our computer. So um, if you have an iPhone and a Mac, um, this is the easiest thing possible, right? And you know this, you can airdrop it. And that is the, the simplest way to transfer files from your iPhone to your Mac. Um, if you don't have a Mac, um, it's gonna be another step. It's not very complicated, but it'll be another step. Now we recommend a service called WeTransfer. It's completely free. Um, you have to, I think, sign up for a, a free account um, if you wanna transfer. And it makes it a little easier if you sign up for an account because I think they use two-factor verification if you don't. Um, but the, the easiest way, honestly, is just to, to do WeTransfer. So you would go to um, your browser here and you'd go to wetransfer.com. And you'd say, send a file. You'd say, add file, choose your photo library. Again, we're gonna be presented with our photo library. There's my photo, right? There's my video right there. I'll choose it, I'll hit add. I'll hit next, cause I don't need to send a message. I'm going to choose an email in this particular instance and I'll just put my email address where it's going and then it wants another email address where it's coming from. Of course, it's coming from me as well. So I'll put the same thing. It will send me a verification code. And at this point, I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen, my phone screen here. And I will go ahead and share my computer screen. And it sends you a verification code. You put the verification code in your um, in here, and then it will send you a an email. And it's just a link. And as soon as you hit the link, there's a link to download the file right there. So that's usually the easiest way to transfer um, transfer a file. You can use Google Drive too if you have a, a Google account, which many of us do. You can just drop it into a folder um, on your phone, and then retrieve it on your desktop. Um, there's several different ways to transfer files between your phone and your computer. Um, but again, WeTransfer and Google Drive tend to be the easiest ways to do that. Um, so once you've actually transferred the file, um, you'll have it on in your downloads folder, most likely. Now your downloads folder varies depending on what type of computer you have. Um, but I've got it right here. Um, as you can see, this, uh, this little IMG7745, that's the video file from my phone. And um, at this point, we would want to start editing. This is, I'm going to open Share Filmora 9. This is a, um, a, a nice mid range video editor. It's nothing um, very, it, it, it does have some things that you can do that are more complicated, but uh, very user. Um, it's got, uh, it is a, they do have a free version of it. If you opt for the version, I think that um, it puts a big mark over the top. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Um, but I would say uh, do the paid version if, if this is something that you're going to want to do long term. So at this point, I'm going to take all of these files here, except for this bottom one, because this is a, a file that we already scrolled logo, which is our business video school logo and the um, original footage for this video recipe. I'm going to highlight all of them and I'm just going to drag them right into the project here. Wonder Show imports all of them and now I'm ready to edit, okay? I'm not gonna do a huge detailed explanation of how everything works because this is a pretty complicated um, uh, piece of software and we could, I mean, we could spend hours on this if we wanted to. Um, we have trainings, business videos that go over editing program uh, in depth, big time. So if you are interested in learning about editing on this program or any other programs, um, that is something that we teach very in depth in business video school. Obviously it's very, um, a very big thing to learn. There's a lot of, lot of elements to editing, especially on some of these more complicated pieces of software. But um, for the most part here, I'm gonna go through just this kind of really basically, you're presented with three different tracks down here at the bottom. Um, you've got uh, two eyeball tracks and then you've got a audio track. The middle eyeball track is your main track that you're gonna edit on. That's where the main piece of footage is going to go. The top track is kind of like a 
B-roll section where you can put overlays, other photos, other um, other pieces of footage, like I'll show you here with this, some of this aerial drone footage that we have. And then the bottom is a um, an audio track. This is what they call the music bed of the editing uh, track. And that's where you can put the music or any other, you know, sound, sound effects, things like that. So I'm going to highlight my um, original footage here. I'm just going to drag it right onto the timeline. I'm going to bunch it, bump it up all the way to the beginning. And so now I've got my original piece of footage here. This is me um, looking kind of like a dummy in the camera here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to kind of shrink this down so we can see the whole file. And there's a couple of things I'm going to do before I do any editing, right? So before I go through and actually start cutting out these mistakes, I'm going to do a couple of things. Um, I'm going to take my audio levels here. Um, as you can see, when I pull over here, I can pull my audio up and I'm going to pull it up just a couple of decibels because um, I, I want to be heard um, really well. And a lot of the times, you know, the audio needs to be bumped just a little bit, especially if you're going to put music underneath this, which we will. So I'm going to pull that up. That will pull all the audio up. Um, I'm then going to adjust some of the uh, lighting. And this isn't something that you need to do, right? If your lighting, if you like the way the image looks in your um, video, go for it, you know, just, just be done with it. Um, I think mine looks a little yellow, right? So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna choose this little color palette here. And that's gonna bring up some presets for colors. Um, I can also go down here to over here to the adjust tab and I can um, change the white balance settings here. And specifically, I'm gonna change the temperature from either cool to warm. And I'm gonna drop this just a little cool because it feels a little yellow to me. So as you can see, as I drop this into the blue, it kind of takes some of that yellow away. I'm going to hit OK. That's it. So now I feel like I've adjusted my clip so it's not so yellow. My phone probably had a hard time adjusting for some of the different color temperatures in my image. So um, once that is done, um, I've got my audio and my, my kind of color adjusted. I'm going to go ahead and edit out my mistakes. Now, when you edit out your mistakes, um, you'll do yourself a huge favor if you can um, think about that ahead of time when you are delivering the lines. So as you see here, um, you can see the waveform here. This is the audio of my um, video. And you can see these gaps that exist where there are no peaks. Those are pauses, right? And this is what I was talking about earlier when you're setting the pace. These individual um, peaks here are individual paragraphs that I was delivering. And these pauses are the gaps between as I was allowing the teleprompter to catch up. So I can easily see just by looking at this timeline and looking at all of these, um, looking at all of these peaks and valleys, I can see exactly where I need to edit out, right? I mean, I, all I need to do is go in here and cut out all these little gaps. And I'm basically, you know, I've, I've removed a lot of my mistakes. Now, one thing I will say is that over at the end here, um, I did make a significant mistake by, um, I think I said the wrong word. So Let's see. Yeah, so as you can so see here. So I made a I made a significant mistake there. So I'll need to cut out a little section of this. So um, let's just start by trimming the beginning and the end. So we'll come over here. Let's see my window here is hide me. I'm gonna pull this little scissor tool up. I'm going to hit the scissors. That's going to split it. I'm going to make sure that little clip is highlighted here. And I'm going to hit the delete key. And that just cuts out the ending. We're going to do the same thing at the beginning before I start speaking. There's just a little bit of a gap, probably not a huge deal. So I would just, again, cut it there and delete that little section. Highlight it. And delete it if it'll let me here. Oh, I see here, we've got a couple of different cuts. There we go. Okay, so um, again, we're gonna go through here and we're just gonna edit out all of these mistakes. And some of these are just breaths. You know, you don't need to edit out every single breath. Um, it doesn't need to be completely devoid. 
of every single gap. It just needs to be devoid of the big ones, right? So Nick, as I'm doing this, um, this is kind of a very simple task here, me just kind of like going through and cutting some of these mistakes out. Um, are there any questions that I can kind of answer as I'm uh, making some of these really easy edits? Um, so I've answered most of them. We, we've, you know, okay. several people have asked what kind of what kind of software we're looking at here. This is Filmora Nine. So again, mm -hmm. we're, so just so everybody understands, we are showing you Filmora Nine because it, it is a piece of software you can use on both the Apple computers and on PCs. It does not mean you can't use all kinds of other editors. So I've had a few people ask about iMovie. For, for sure, iMovie will work just great for this kind of thing. Um, you can also do it on your phone, right? So if you want to use something like Viva Video to edit on your phone, um, those will work just fine as well, all right? So again, if you have any questions, um, just make sure you put in, uh, uh, in the chat here. Let me see if we have, couldn't, so some people are having some trouble hearing the audio. You did cut out for a minute for us, but I, I've been able to hear you for the past five or six minutes, no problem. Okay. So curious yeah. as to where you know the mistakes are, can't hear anything. Um, do you want to recap real quick, Michael, how you're finding the mistakes using the, the audio wave there? Yes. Yeah. So as you can see on the timeline, there's the uh, there's a waveform, which is just the peaks and valleys of my audio, of my voice. And you can see, I'll bring the playhead over the this gap here. There's a gap where there's nothing. And that's the that's a pause. I made a pause there because I either made a mistake or I was waiting for the teleprompter to catch up. Um, and I do this on purpose. If I make a mistake while I'm delivering a line, I'll pause because I know when I'm going back, I'm looking for those pauses. So I know that's where a mistake is. So pausing, waiting half of a second and then continuing or redoing the line. That's always uh, going to help you as you um, edit these later on. Okay. Um, now, one thing I want to do real quick while we have a second here is I just want to let everybody know I'm posting an additional new link. I know there's been a lot of links today, um, but a new link for our, our tour of business video school. So if you're watching this and you're going, okay, this is still kind of confusing. I mean, if you've never met it at a video before, it might be, right? Because you need to go through training. I mean, this is, this is a demonstration, not a training, right? And Michael's doing a decent job of explaining what he's doing. But if you want something slower, because I've seen a few people ask about that is, is there a way to do this more step by step, a little bit slower, um, so I can follow it. There isn't in a webinar, because that's not what really webinars are designed for, but we do that inside of school, right? So I just shared the link to everyone. It says register for a tour of business video school. Um, we have one tomorrow. We also have one next week. That link will take you to register for either of them. But if you're if you're interested in learning this stuff, right? I mean, this is not like video is incredibly complex as, as you, if you hadn't realized you probably are now, right? Um, so if you do want some help or if you're at least curious about how we could help you, go ahead and click that link I just shared. Michael's gonna show you a couple more editing steps here next. Um, but I do want to make sure I got that into the chat so that if you are looking for more help, if you want to make video a priority in your business, especially moving into 2021, make sure you click on that link. Come check us out. Um, we give away a free lapel microphone on that tour. Um, we also have some cool bonuses that we share that we only share during that tour. You can't actually find them on our normal website. Um, so go ahead and click that link and get registered for our tour with us. Uh, and then, Michael, I do have a couple more questions uh, for sure. you here. Mm -hmm. Um, or somebody said, is, you know, is it possible you'll cut out spoken words as you're trimming? So, um, you know, obviously you can, right? So do you want to explain, like, let, let's just, because I think it's kind of what a couple people are asking about is, uh, so you're cutting out pauses, but what if you misspoke and then you need to go back and sort of cut that out? What, what would that look like? Well, and that, I just did that actually. And so that is, um, that, that really is just about listening um, to the whole thing. So you'll read through the, you'll watch the whole thing. Um, you delivered these lines, right? So you'll probably remember, oh, I made a mistake, you know, right at the end there, as I was saying this particular word or something like that. So, um, you know, but you'll want to watch the whole thing through to make sure that you're actually, you know, preparing this the way you want to. Um, and so you'll find the place where you want to cut, right? It's just the same as cutting in any other instance. You'll find the place so I, I, maybe I would want to, you know, right before I speed this where you can see I can actually use my, um, my left and right arrows on my, my keyboard to move this uh, just frame by frame. So that, then I can really get a specific, so I, right before I make this very dramatic O face here, <laughs> um, I can back up and I can um, 
cut right there, right? And then I would find the place where I wanted to start again and I could cut right there. And so now I've made those two cuts. I've cut that little section and I could delete that if I wanted to, right? So I, um, when I'm talking about the pauses, I'm talking about just kind of making, like helping yourself as you are delivering these lines, um, see where some of those mistakes are um, later on as you're editing. So if you pause, you'll end up seeing that in the waveform, in that audio waveform at the bottom, and it will make it easier and quicker for you to edit after the fact. So um, we've got the we've got the everything cut out right all of the stuff cut out here, um, and at the end of this I want to put um, our logo. So I'm going to take our logo at the top here again. I'm just going to drag it right over and pop it right in at the end. I'm going to bring the playhead over the top, and you'll see the logo there. Um, this is uh, how long is this? I can kind of start dragging this, and I can see the duration. Uh, it's five seconds. That sounds good to me. If I wanted to make it longer, I could just pull it. If I wanted to shorten it, I could bring it this way. Um, but I'm going to keep it at five seconds. That sounds good to me. Um, I'm going to highlight this and double click it. And when I double click it, it brings up these controls over here. I don't want this to take up the whole um, the whole screen. I think it looks kind of funny taking up the whole screen. So when, once I've double clicked on my logo, I have controls. Now I can bring it down just like you would a photo in a photo editing uh, program to the size that I want. And then I'll drag it and it's gonna give me these guides. It's gonna show me where the center is, right? Pop it in. There's my logo at the end of my video, done. Um, let's, add, um, let's add a couple of titles because I think that this video would probably, um, would probably do better if um, we added a couple of titles just to a call to action is what we call it, right? It's something that we want our viewer to do at the end um, of this uh, video. So I'm gonna go over up here to my titles section. And um, in Wondershare for more, they include a ton of different titles. All of this stuff is, um, it looks like we've got 200, almost 260 titles included. And they have this section down here called new concept, which is really cool. Um, it, it's just got some really nice kind of fancy looking titles or some things that are a little more trendy looking, I think. Um, you can click on them and then you can hit the space bar and you can see them preview, right? You can watch these. Um, I like number two here. So I'm going to just, again, it's all drag and drop. I'm going to drag it over. And I'm going to put it on the top of my logo because again, this is the stuff that sits on this level here is the stuff that's sitting on top of all the footage. So we're going to want that to be right on top. It's the same duration. It's, it's the same duration as the logo underneath. And then we'll go in and edit it. And we're just going to double click and we're gonna change the call to action to call me at 314, one, two, three, four. Um, and you've got some options here to change, you know, the weight, I'll change the weight maybe to light. I like the railway font, I think that's cool. Um, and um, let's see, I'll hit, okay, I'll, I, maybe I'll drag some of this. Let's see, we'll drag some of this down because we wanna get this out of the way. Um, so let's double click on it again. Let's go up to the video tab. So it was on the text tab up here to edit the text. I'm gonna go over to the video and I've got this position here, my X axis and my Y axis. If you remember geometry, your X axis is uh, horizontal and your Y axis is vertical. So I wanna bring this down on the Y axis. So I'm gonna just drag it down to a, the negative value. And it's gonna go below my logo. And I think this is too big too. So I'm gonna bring the scale down. I want it to be more in line with um, the size of my logo. Boom, I think that's great. I'll hit okay. And now we've got a little call to action and my logo at the end of my video. Brings in a nice little animation with my, with my phone number. Um, and let's bring in some music, right? And um, I think, uh, I always think music is a nice uh, addition to these. It kind of keeps the video moving. Um, you know, we're at a short video here. It's a minute and a half, but we always want to keep people's attention. So I think music helps do that. Wondershare for more, again, a bunch of music built into it. This is one of the reasons why we recommend this piece of software is that it's got all this stuff ready to go for you. All, once you pay for it, you get all this music, you get all these titles, transitions, all these other things that are just already included. Whereas a lot of other editors, you have to kind of piecemeal that or find your own stuff. So this is all ready to go for you. Um, 
we've got 76 different pieces of uh, music or sound effects that are included in here. I'll choose the young and bright um, section and see what uh, sounds good. Again, you click on the music and you hit your space bar and it will give you a preview. And I don't, again, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Nick, can you hear that as I play it? Um, I'm not hearing anything. You okay, that's fine. So um, that might just be the way these webinars work is that you might not be able to hear um, the audio that my computer is playing. But again, I can show you how to do this without actually having to hear the audio. Again, we're going to look at the waveforms, right? So I'm going to bring this all down. I'm going to squish this down so I can see the whole file. I can see the whole piece of music. And you can see these waveforms. Again, this is a little harder to see, but um, you can see where the song breaks, right? You can see parts of the song where it gets bit bigger and where it gets kind of quieter and stuff. And I like to put my music, um, I like to time my music with, um, you know, the end card of this video. So I want the, the music to kind of hit at a certain point. So I see that there's this little gap here. And um, after listening to it, I know that right here is a place where the music kind of picks up. So I'm going to highlight this clip and I'm going to hit M on my keyboard. That's going to place a marker right on that. That just tells me that's where I, that's where this song kind of picks up. I'm going to line this up then. I'm going to drag this so it shortens it. And I'm going to line this up with the end of my video. So basically where this ends Right there. And so as the music picks up, the end card shows. And that's just a little thing. You don't have to do that. You don't have to add, um, you don't have to time the music specifically for this. Um, but I like to because I think it adds a little bit of uh, extra polish. I'm gonna drag this all the way to the end so it, the music ends with the video. So now my music sits right underneath my video. And we're gonna drag this up so I can see and this music is going to be too loud. If you might not be able to hear this, but if I raise the decibel level on all of my audio and this decibel level is also sitting at kind of, you know, right at normal, it's going to be way too loud. I'm going to drop this decibel level probably around a 20, 25 ish decibels. That's going to bring it to be a lower volume, kind of an underscore music, something that's really nice and not very intense. And. So now I've got music underneath, right? Let's do one more thing and let's add a, that P, that B roll that we've got. Um, we had some aerial footage of um, some of our of some of a neighborhood, and I'm going to find a place that I want to input this. So right here, so at this point, I'm talking about how Zillow uh, gets its estimate. Um, information. I'm talking about um, that it uses an algorithm, right? And it looks at the sale of many other homes in the area. And so at that point, um, just to spice this up, I want to show this aerial footage of other homes, right? Because that's just going to support what I'm currently talking about. I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull it right onto the top, on the top level here. And I'm going to trim it with this cut right here. So it ends at this cut. And so again, you might not be able to hear this, but as I play through this, it plays uh, right over the top of my audio and as I'm talking about Zillow's um, Zestimate. And um, all you have to do is drag it right on top. And again, these assets are given to you. You're, they're ready to go in the folder. All you have to do is download them, bring them into the editor, and then pop them right on the top and then just time them out. Um, again, timing them out is just pulling the edges of these to um, make it longer or shorter depending on where you want it to start and end. So now I've got a little bit of B-roll on top. 
Um, I've got um, a music bed on the bottom. I've got me talking about, um, you know, Zillow and why you shouldn't necessarily trust their Zestimate because, you know, it doesn't take into account, um, you know, the updates that you may have done on your on your home or the fact that yours you have a newer home in an older neighborhood or et cetera, et cetera. And I'm saying, hey, maybe you should contact me, a realtor, to get a real estimate on your home. Um, uh, and then as I say that, right after I say that, I, I, my title card pops up with my logo and um, I've got my phone number, my call to action, asking them to call me here at the end. Um, and so this is it. This is really all we would need to do, right? This is a, a easy, simple marketing video that we've created quickly. Um, if we want to uh, share this, I'll go up to the top and hit export, create video. I'll name it. And I'm not going to touch anything else on this. There's a lot of other options, but it comes automatically kind of preloaded with what you're going to want to do. It's going to be HD. It's going to be in a .mov format. Don't worry about any of that. It's all set. Just hit export and it'll be finished for you. And that's it. Now there's more that we can do here. You know, we can create, um, we can put more titles. You know, we could put another title at the, at the beginning that says, should you trust his estimate? Because that's the, the title of our video, right? And that is something that could attract our viewers as they're scrolling through their, their social media feeds to see, hey, what is this video? Oh, this video is obviously about, should I trust his estimate? A lot of people do trust estimates. So maybe they, you know, that would be a nice thing to put on the front that would capture their attention. Um, you know, there's several other things and elements that we could do that we could, um, um, do to kind of spice this up. But in terms of simplicity, you know, the goal is here just to get this content out, right? Create the content and get it out. Get people seeing you speak um, on their social media feeds because that's going to get them to know you then in turn eventually like you and hopefully trust you, right? Um, the longer you wait, the more um, your competitors do this. Um, so, you know, don't let the, don't let perfection um, be the, uh, what, what is the first saying? Don't let perfection be the, um, the stealer of uh, done or whatever that is. Don't, don't let the perfection enemy be of done. the enemy. Yeah. Yes. Of done. Yes. Just get it done. Right. Don't add too right. much pizzazz to this. Um, cool. So there you go. Yeah. So that was a lot, right? I mean, I, if you're watching this, we went through it you know, quick. You might, you might be a little bit overwhelmed. I, I want to mention this to everybody. Uh, there's a link in the chat right now. So I hate editing, right? So if, if I was sitting in your chair right now watching this, I'd be like, I don't want to do this. This seems like a lot of work. And it's also maybe not a good use of your time, right? Even if you are good at editing, I can do the editing at this point. I just, it's not really a great use of my time. So there's a link to a partner that we have. It's called Connect Video. Um, and, and they offer a service called Easy Edits, all right? So it's a, it starts at 50 bucks a video. They're gonna do all of this sort of stuff for you. So if you, if you really despise the idea of editing your own videos, check out that link um, because that would be a way to avoid doing any of this, all right? And I, I really emphasize that if you're a real estate agent, your job is to help people buy and sell homes, right? It's not to edit videos. You have to be on camera, but you don't necessarily need to do the editing, right? So that link is there. And I am gonna share again, as we get wrapped up here, um, the link to all of the documentation that you need, okay? So the link I just shared is your free video recipe. Please save that link, okay? It is not going to show up in the replay because this was this is something we wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. There is going to be a replay, but the replays don't record the chat, right? So if you've seen a replay of one of these webinars, you know that the chat is not part of the replay. So at the very least, save this link or you know navigate to it and then bookmark that particular page so that you can come back to it. It's gonna have the PDF that contains the instructions, the script, the, uh, the, the, the post on Facebook. So you don't have to worry about coming up with a post when you actually share the video, all of that's in there. And then the last thing I'll say as we kind of get wrapped up here is if this felt like a lot and you would like more help learning how to do this stuff, that's what we do, right? This is a webinar, it's 50 minutes. We literally have to get off of here because there's another webinar coming up right after us. But we wanna help you more, right? I mean, we have over 50, I think we're getting close to 70 hours of total educational content that we've created inside of Business Video School. And that's just in the past seven months. We have new stuff coming out every single week, right? So 
if you want to take video seriously, if this is something that you want to learn, it is complicated. There is a lot. There's a lot of skills that come into being on camera. There's a lot of skills that come into editing video. There's a lot of skills that come into distributing the videos, right? This is a massive shift in how we do business with each other. And the pandemic just accelerated it by like two or three years, right? I mean, I, I never expected that by the end of 2020, every single business person in the world would know what Zoom was. I mean, it was, used to be kind of, you know, a lot of people didn't even know about it, right? So this is going to be a big deal. It's going to continue to be a big deal. If you want to come join us, click the last link I just shared. That's to our tour and demo. We've got one tomorrow. We've got one next week. You can register for either of those through that link. And this is your chance to come check us out, right? I mean, you obviously don't. There's no obligation. You have to sign up. Um, but it is a great opportunity to come get to know us a little bit better and see if our style of teaching, which is usually slower than this, right? I mean, if, if we were actually trying to walk this through and show you how to do it, it wouldn't be in a webinar and it wouldn't be over 30 or 40 minutes, right? We would actually be taking our time step by step. So if that sounds like a good fit for you, please click that link um, and jump on over there and see, see if uh, Business Video School is a good fit for you. All right, so that is all the time we have today because there's a webinar coming up. We're actually sort of past our time already at this point. Um, I think we answered all the questions. So I was trying to answer them as we went. I'm gonna check um, one last time. It does look uh, like there, there are a few questions about, will there be a replay? The easiest place to find the replay is this literally just streamed on the LCA Facebook page, right? So if you go to the Lab Code Agents Facebook page right now, you should be able to find this as soon as we end the stream because then it'll save to Facebook. It will also show up on the YouTube page for Lab Code Agents, right? So that usually takes a couple days, um, but if you want it right away, definitely jump over to the Facebook page. And again, make sure to save that link to all the files and all the information that we share with you today um, so that you have access to using it in your business. So um, that's all I got, Michael. Do you have anything you'd, you'd like to add before we wrap up? No, I think that's it. I, you, you, I think you said it all. Don't complicate this. It doesn't have to be complicated. It looks complicated because we're using a piece of software that's got a lot of buttons, but you don't, I used, you know, 5% of the buttons on that. And if you learn those 5% of buttons, you can create the exact same thing and get your face out to other people um, on your social media feed. So it doesn't have to be a complicated thing. Um, and as you can see, we did it here in a really short period of time. So this is something that you can do as well. It's it's not that complicated, but if you want more help, we're here to help you. We provide world-class support. We provide all these video recipes. We provide 50, 60, 70 hours now of, of content, of learning content. So it's all available to you at Business Video School um, if you want more help. Cool. Thank you so much, Michael. Um, I did have one more question come in about the equipment list. I'm going to share the link to it. Um, oh, actually, I think it looks like somebody else just shared it. So thank you for doing my job. I appreciate it. Um, but that is the equipment list. So if you want to get our list of recommended equipment, that is also on our website where you can download it. Um, yeah, that's all we got for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, this was a new format. So uh, we are curious how it went. We do have to get off of here. So if you can hop over to Facebook and find our Facebook page, Business Video School, find our Facebook page and send us a message. Let us know what you thought of today. I'm, I'm sure some of you felt a little bit overwhelmed because we moved pretty quick, but we would love to get your feedback because if this is valuable, if you are able to learn something um, from this format, we can do more of them and we can maybe hone in on, on one piece at a time. We can do you know different versions of it. So go over to Facebook, find us Business Video School, uh, follow us and then send us a message to let us know. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, hopefully we'll see you again either on a tour or on another LCA webinar coming up soon. Thank you so much. Bye guys, thanks.